video are investigating the conduct of a now fired police officer <laughs> after he shot an unarmed 17 year old who was sitting in a car outside a fast food restaurant. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? How you doing today? I hope that your day is going fine. If not, I hope tomorrow gets better. I want to thank each and every one of you guys for tuning in with me. Thank you for dropping your comments in the comment section. It is truly appreciated. If you haven't subscribed, I actually you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure to hit the notification button to stay up with all the videos that we're posting. Imagine being in your car, eating a burger, and a cop comes, open up the door, you try to get away, and he shoots you. Yeah, this happened. In the meantime, we move on to the other news this Monday night into a horrific scene in San Antonio. Tonight, a rookie police officer has been fired after opening fire on an unarmed teenager who was eating a burger in his car at a McDonald's. That teen is now fighting for his life after being shot multiple times. The police body cam video showing the officer approaching the car, opening the door, and then opening fire on the teen as that teenager moved backwards a little. Tonight, the officer off the force and the police union says it will not defend him. Here's ABC's John Quinones now. Tonight, hey, officials in San Antonio are investigating the conduct of a now fired police officer <laughs> after he shot an unarmed 17 year old who was sitting in a car outside a fast food restaurant. He had no weapon. He had a burger in his hand, you know. According to authorities, on October 2nd, rookie officer James Brennan was responding to a call at a McDonald's when he turned his attention to a different incident. I got a vehicle over here that uh, fled from me the other day. Police say the officer believed the maroon car in the parking lot had fled from him during an attempted stop the night before, but the vehicle was not related to that encounter. Eric Cantu and a female passenger found sitting inside. Get out of the car. Body camera video capturing the officer as he opens the door it's without crazy. any warning. Brennan reporting that he was then hit by the open door as Cantu reversed. He opens fire, shooting at the car multiple times mm. as it drove away. Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired! Mm. Cantu found with multiple gunshot wounds and then placed under arrest for evasion and aggravated assault. The female passenger uninjured. Officer Brennan was later fired by the San Antonio Police Department for violation of departmental tactics, training, and procedures. Some of those shots were fired as this young man was driving away. Uh, it didn't appear to me that this officer's life was in danger. Bear County District Attorney Joe Gonzalez dropped the charges against Gantu. And you saw that footage. What did you think? It was an outrage when I saw that. David, tonight that district attorney is promising a full and independent investigation to determine if charges should be filed against that police officer, saying he will take this case to a grand jury if necessary. David? John Quinones reporting from Texas tonight. John, thank you. Before I go any further, drop them comments in the comment section. Go ahead and drop them. Let me know what y'all are thinking. Let me know what y'all are thinking. Drop them comments in the comment section. He finna go to jail. Yeah, he, 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 he finna go to jail. When you heard them say that the police union will not back him, he gone. They, they know he was wrong. That's my thing, though. If you got hit by the door, that's your own fault. You didn't identify yourself. You went up there and opened that door to that boy's car. Of course, I'm going to flee you, too. I don't, I'm in fear of my life. I don't know what you're doing. Yeah, y'all ain't never seen all these police uh, videos online where people dress up as cops. He didn't even identify himself. You gonna open this man door and say, get out the car? For listen, let me back up. He was on another call. This call with this boy had nothing to do with him. This, this, I bet he was bullied in school. I, I guarantee he's one of those people who got bullied in school. Now he got on the uniform and he think he finna get some get back. I bet he one of them people. How are you going to act as a... This is why the rapport between civilians and law enforcement is so bad because of people like him. Individuals like him. He went to that boy's door and opened it and said, get out. Hey, he didn't identify himself. I was I would have been in shock too. If you got hit with that door, that's your own fault. You put yourself in that position. 
If that boy was trying to get away, yeah, I think he had every right to try to get away because he don't know you. He don't know who you are at all. You could be an impersonator. You could be trying to kidnap and, 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 and rob me. The crazy thing is they charged the boy. They charged him. I, I, that's, that's appalling to me. And the fact of the matter is that you said you saw a car that fleed you the other night. Yeah, you saw the car, but did you identify who was in that car? Are you sure it was the same car? Because if they make one, they make two. We had a friend, well, we got a friend that have a Jeep. See one like it all the time. The only way we can identify it is something small on her bumper that let us know that's not her. Are you sure that this was the same car? Are you sure this is the same person who's driving the car? How can you be on one call and go to something totally different from another night that you're not even sure it's the same person? Yeah. Yeah, rookie caught rookie mistakes. But common sense will let you know you have to follow protocol. I don't care who you are. You have to follow protocol. There's a way to handle everything. He shot this boy. He literally shot him. He was trying to kill. Now, what if he'd have killed that innocent girl? What if the boy died? We don't know. He fighting for his life. Let the news tell it. This officer was way out of line. Way out of line. I think his ego got him. That's what I think. I think that he allowed his ego to get in the way because he was like, oh, you thought you got away from me the other night. Well, I got you now. But guess what, buddy? Your ego got you now. Because you finna, you finna st sit in front of a uh, jury. And nine times out of ten, you're going to get convicted. The union not backing you out. You already done got fired. They didn't, they didn't even put you on leave without pay. <laughs> they didn't even put you on leave with pay. You gone, buddy. I don't know what he was thinking or what was going on in his mind for him to act this way. Now, the little boy could have been guilty. Hey, but guess what? He's 17. He's not an adult. He's a minor. I just said this in the other video. At 17 and 18, I was doing dumb stuff too. I probably wasn't fleeing the cops, but hey, how did he even know that this was this guy? He said he saw the car from the other night that tried to flee him. He don't know who was driving. I had another car. You know, I never really used that car. You know who used it? My daughter. So what if I would have did something one day in the car, the cop seen me in the car but the next day, he seen my daughter in the car, opened the door, and acted the same way. She would have been startled, too. Out of order. Out of line. Ego got in the way. And I can't say lack of training. No. You, you, you was trained. They ain't going to pass you until you train. Until you pass that test. So I'm sure... Listen, when you go through those trainings, they make you sign papers saying you agree with all of this stuff. You realize what you're doing. This guy, Ego, just got him in trouble. I hope this kid survive, and, and the family should sue him because they're not going to sue that department. I don't know. Maybe they can. But they can sue him, I'm sure. But if he knew, he probably don't have a pension or none of that. But I hope that he can't go to the next county or next city and get a job because he is dangerous I hope we don't hear nothing years down the road that this guy did this again I think I'm going to stay up on this story because I want to know what's going to happen drop your comments in the comment section let me know what you think until the next time peace